Take a boy lost in the shadows of a silent world. Give him the knowledge of a terrifying secret. That's our story, The Lonely One, taken from the files of John Steele, adventurer. This is John Steele. At this time each week, I usually introduce my guest and let him tell you his own story. But unfortunately, Jody Martin can't talk. So this week, I'm going to have to start Jody's story myself. Now, I first met the Martin family when I was made sheriff of a small county in northern Wisconsin. Sam and Abby owned a little farm 20 miles out in the country. And they'd come in town once a week or so for supplies. Jed Parsons and I were sitting on the porch of his general store one day when the Martin family pulled up in Sam's old truck. We could have heard it coming a country mile away. Come on, Jody, get out. Don't talk to him, Abby. You got to pull him. I get so used to talking to him, I sometimes forget. Get going, boy. Don't be rough on him, Sam. Shut up, woman. Well, howdy, Sam. Afternoon, Mrs. Martin. Sure. Afternoon, Mr. Parsons. Say about them... Hmm? Later. What are you two whispering about? Nothing, Sam. Hello, folks. Who's he? Uh, new sheriff, John Steele, Sam, Mrs. Martin. Uh. How do, Mr. Steele? Hello, Sam, Mrs. Martin. Uh, this here is his son, Jody. Hello, Jody. Jody, don't talk, Sheriff. No? Ain't said a word since the day he was born. Oh. Can't hear nothing, neither. I'm sorry, I didn't... We're uh... used to it, Mr. Steele. Suppose we go in and get our supplies. Well, sure, sure, Miss Martin. Got all your orders set aside back How here. How much flour you give us? Usual, four pounds. Better make it three this week. <laughs> Hardly enough to get by on. Have to do for now. Oh. Where's the order, Jen? Uh, right behind the counter. Come on, Jody. No need for the boy to help. I'll give you a hand. Got to earn his keep. Paul, let him stay with his mother. All right. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah. <clears throat> See the boy don't touch nothing. Did you get it? Came in this morning. Good. Best violin strings aren't market. Make Jody real happy. Yeah, here you are. Look, Jody. Almost smiled. Yep. Better hide it. Yeah. One more trip. Boy will help me the rest. Oh, I don't mind. Got to do his chores. Very well. Come on, you. Come on, I said. He don't understand, sir. He understands. Got to be. Just lazy. As little enough as it is. Come on. Get all of it, boy. I said, get all of Let it. Let me help. He can handle it. All right. Now, now, come on, you. See you next week, Mr. Parsons. Have a nice Sunday, Mr. Martin. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Nice to meet you folks. You want to stand there gabbing all day? No, Sam. Get in. Yeah. Come on, Jody. Get in. Don't you fret, son. You talking to him again? Don't do no harm. Well, that's that for another week. Mm. New sheriff seems to be likeable enough. <laughs> well, he is. Don't hold with no strangers butting in. for your paw yet. Some six cents must guide you. It's the sheriff. Go on back to your violin, son. That 
afternoon, Sheriff. Afternoon, Mrs. Martin. Sliding by, I thought I'd drop in and say hello. Glad you did. Take off your coat and come in the kitchen. Hope I'm not disturbing you. Not a bit. Just fixing to get supper. Where's Sam? Down the barn. Let me get you a cup of coffee. No, no, I don't want to be a bother. No trouble. Won't take a minute. Hello, Jody. Now, don't be frightened. I'm not going to hurt you. He's a mite shy with strangers. Let me see your violin. There, there, son. Sheriff won't hurt your violin. Didn't mean to startle him. He knows his pa don't like it. Oh. Won't let nobody but me touch it. I understand. He'll be all right once he gets to know you. I brought him a book. He can't read. I know, but it has lots of pictures. That was nice of you, Sheriff. Here, Jody. Take it, son. Afraid I'll have to give it to him. That's all right. Here, son. Look at the nice book the sheriff brought you. Never seen a book before. You don't know what to do with it. Let me show it. Better let me. Here, Jody. Gotta open it up. He's looking at a picture. What is it? A dog. How old is Jody, Mrs. Martin? The 18 come November. Has he ever been to school? No. We're so far from everything out here. You know, there is a school for deaf I mutes. know. They can be taught to speak with their hands, to read. I know, and... sure. Perhaps I could... No. Uh, why not? Sam would say he'd be putting ideas in the boy's head. I'd like to talk to Sam. Wouldn't do no good. Maybe if you talk to him. I'll see. Well... I've got to be running along. Land sakes, I forgot your coffee. That's all right, Mrs. Martin. No, please. Now I've got an excuse to drop in again. Any time, Sheriff. Thank you. Jody's looking at you. Yes. He likes you. I can tell by his eyes. They're very much like your eyes. Everyone says that. What's he want? He wants to touch you. Oh. Yes, that's his way of saying thank you. You're welcome, Jody. I'll drop in again, Mrs. Martin. Any time you're out this way. Talk to Sam if you get the chance. If I get the chance. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sheriff. Thank you for thinking of Jody. Now, put your violin away, son. Your pa's coming up from the barn. There, in the box. In the cupboard. Go on with you. Got a million things to do. Who was that driving down the lane? Let me take your coat. Who was it? Mr. Steele. What did he want? Your towels by the sink. What did he want? Just driving by. Just driving by, huh? That's all. <laughs> How's the cow? Told you, I don't like strangers butting in. He was just being sociable. Sheriff don't have time to be sociable. Where's the towel? By the sink. I don't want him hanging around here. Comforting thing to know the sheriff knows you're alive. <laughs> Who'd want to steal anything from us? Never can tell when something's going to happen. Like what? Still, it's a comforting thing. <laughs> What's the boy got there? It's nothing, Sam. A book. Where'd he get a book? Well, tell me. The sheriff gave it to him. He did, did he? I let him have it. Put notions in his Won't head. Won't do no harm. No son of mine. Leave him be. Burn it. You crazy? Give me that. <laughs> get away from me, boy. You'll hurt him. It's your paw, will no, you? Don't, Sam. I'll teach you. There, Jody. There. shirt. That's a man for you. Storm's getting worse. Hope your paw's all right. What you stopping for, son? That was lightning. Go on now. 
We can see the lights from the truck when your pa comes up the lane. Go on now. Uh, that's better. Me time to put the violin away. You can be calling this time and I... Hello? Oh, hello, Sheriff. Well, it was nice of you to call. No? No, we're getting along fine. Yes, it is a bad one. Last one of the year, expect. Thanks for calling, Sheriff. Good night. Lord in the valley. Abby! Didn't see the truck come up the lane. Bridge washed out. Had to walk in. Get those wet clothes off. I'm all right. I'll get you something to eat. What's the matter with the boy? Why? Acts like he's trying to hide something. It's nothing. Don't tell me it was nothing. You make him nervous. His own paw? That's all. You're hiding something, too. No, I'm not, Sam. You are. See, there he goes again. I'll get you something to eat. Like to know what goes on in that head of his. Leave him alone. Like to know right now. Can't you? Right now. I knew there was something. Don't, Sam. Give me that violin. <laughs> Leave that boy alone. I thought I told you to stop wasting money on this thing. It's right he should have it. I'll show you what's right. Stop it. Bust every one of them. Are you crazy? I don't have enough of my mind. I gotta buy fiddle strings for no good reason. They lady. only cost it. A... Are you, you sticking up for him? I only Lying didn't. to me. Stop it. It's all your fault. You don't know what... For bringing that kind of son into the world. You're hurting. Never done a day's work since he was born. Sam. Never earned his keep. You're crazy. Just pay, pay, pay. Let go. Your fault. Your fault. You're sick, Sam. Sick of all of you. Need a doctor. Shut up. We'll go to... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Abby. Abby. Well, say something. Feel the pulse, feel the pulse. And you didn't mean it. You hit your head. Yeah, you, you hit your head. The boy saw it. He'll tell you. But no, he can't tell nobody. Boy, that's good. Got to think. Get rid of her. That's first, yeah. Outside. Figure it out after that. Uh, boy. Boy, you. You gotta help your pa. Now look at me. You gotta help. You see? Go outside. There. Outside. Yeah, that's it. No, 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 no coach. Come on. Down by the barn. Ground saw. Hold the door here. Hold it. I'll get the shovels. Come on now. Out in the back. Here. Yeah, good place. Yeah. Watch your paw now. You see? Now, now you help. That's it. That's a good boy. Milk boy. Hello in there. Huh? Huh? 
Hello, Sam? Who is it? Sheriff Steele. I'm looking all over for you. Where'd you expect to find a farmer? Thought I'd drop out and see how you went through the storm. Storms never give us no trouble. Hello, Jody. Go on with your chores, boy. Go on. I stopped up at the house. What for? Say hello to Mrs. Martin. She ain't here. I know. She uh, went over to the next county. Stay with a sick relative. That's funny. I talked to her last night on the telephone. I uh, took her over there this morning. That's why you're so late with your milking. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Must have been a tough ride. What? Roads the way they are. Oh, yeah. How long is she going to be gone? Don't know. It'll be hard on you. Huh? Getting along without Mrs. Martin for a while. We'll manage. <laughs> Jody's milk are dry. Yeah. He's a smart boy, Sam. Him? Yes, Jody. <laughs> He's got a lot of native intelligence. I've been meaning to have a talk with you. About what? You heading up towards the house now? Guess so. I'll walk along with you. We can talk on the way. Come on, boy. Come on. Put the milk in the cooler. Go on over there. All set? Uh huh. Did Mrs. Martin say anything to you? About what? I guess she didn't. You know, Sam, uh. What's the matter? Jody. Well, what about him? Keeps pulling my sleeve. Pay no attention to him. Seems to want something. Stop it, boy. Wants me to go around back of the barn. There's nothing. What do you mean? Hey, we uh, let him keep a hen back there. Oh. He likes to show her to folks. <laughs> Some other time, Jody. Some other time, he said. As I was saying, Jody's a bright boy. Maybe. If you send him to school... What for? There are schools for boys like Jody. They teach him to read and write, to talk with their hands. No. Why not? You don't need no learning. It wouldn't cost you a cent. No. I've already inquired. The state... No, no, I said. You spend more time tending to your duties. I see. Stop pesting poor farm folk. I feel that this is part of my... Go away, Jody. Leave him alone. He wants something. He don't want nothing. What is it, Jody? He wants me to go inside, Sam. Hmm. You mind? Why, why should I? Come on, son. Now, what did you want me to see? Give me that, you. Leave him alone, Sam. He just wants to show off that fiddle. I don't mind. Go ahead, Jody. Strings are broken. That's too bad, son. He uh, always tightens them up too much. He doesn't know any better. Quit your pointing, boy. He wants you to get some new strings. Yeah, sure. <laughs> get you some new ones. I've got to get back to town. Yeah. Think over what we were talking about, Sam. No point in thinking. Why? My mind's made up. I'm sorry you feel that way, Sam. That's the way I feel. Because there's a state law that makes education compulsory. Get out. Get off of my land. Think it over, Sam. And if you know what's good for Jody, you'll stay off. So, oh, try to turn in your paw, will you? I'll show you. I'll show you. Judy, they don't leave your pa. Judy. Boy, where? 
Where are you? Oh, there you are. I thought you'd taken off again. Thought I was alone. What you doing out here? Yeah, Ma can't can't hear you. Come on back. Back to the house. Your, your, your supper's waking. Come on, I say. That's a good boy. You won't uh, you won't run out on your bar, will you? Won't, 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 won't tell on me. No, won't, 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 won't tell. Come on now. Up the up the steps. That's the boy. Open, open the door. Open the door. There now, see? Your, your pa kept your supper warm for you. You see? Now you just sit down over over there. Just 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 sit down. Eat, boy. Eat. Don't just look look at me with your with your ma's eyes. Don't 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 look at me like that. No. You know. You know, Abby, uh, jo Jody, next year we'll, uh, we'll go away. Yeah, away after the harvest. You you and your, your pa, Abby, uh, J uh, Jody, will go away. Maybe sell the, sell the farm, you see. Don't look at me! Go away, yeah. You see, uh, your, your pa's good. Good to you. Hey, we won't tell. Won't tell, will you? Will you? Won't tell. You can't tell, can you? Can you? Don't! Don't! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Miss Phillips? Miss Porter? That you, Miss Martin? Somebody's got the receiver off the hook. Hello? Hello? What you doing with, with, that, with that fiddle? The telephone. Trying, trying to, to tell. Won't you? Won't you? Give me that. Trying to, to, to tell, tell on your pa. Trying to, to get the, the, the sheriff. Huh? Did you get him? Did you get him? Did you? No, 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 no strings on the, on the fiddle. Strings, uh, strings broken. Couldn't, couldn't signal, huh? Your, your pa broke, uh, he broke the strings. He'll break the fiddle, too. I'll break it! Break it! There, you see? Your paw's being, being, being good to, good to. Oh. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, uh, no. No, 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 nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, Abby, uh, Joe, uh, Jody, uh, playing, playing tricks. Yeah, 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 that's, that's all. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for calling back. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Trying to tell on your ball. Come here. Come here. Don't run away. Your ball wants, wants to talk to you. Come here, boy. Don't run, boy. You, you, you're going to go away, see? You, you shouldn't have tried to tell. That wasn't a good boy. Car. Car outside. Sheriff, you, you did tell. You tell, didn't you? Didn't you? The sheriff, the sheriff knows. Why, why did you, did you do it? 
Aren't you? Well, why did you did you turn your turn your your, your, your paw in? Saw your light on. Thought I'd drop in. I did. I did it. Did it. Yeah. I I, I did it. What's the matter, Sam? I didn't mean mean to kill her. Who? Ab jo, jo, uh, Abby. I see. Just just pushed pushed her. Jody. Jody saw it, but 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 he, he said he wouldn't wouldn't tell on me. Let me put these on your wrist, Sam. It's all over now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll... All over. All over now. Why? Why did Jody... Why did Jody tell you, Sheriff? Jody didn't tell me. You... You you knew. I didn't know anything, Sam. I just dropped in tonight to give Jody some new violin strings. Oh. That's a... That's a good boy, Joe. Jody, don't tell on your paw. Come on, Sam. We'll all ride into town, get you some good food and some rest. Yeah, yeah, rest, yeah. Yeah. Come along, Jody. son. Nothing to be afraid of now. Someone. Someone. Title, The Lonely One. The story of a boy who found the key to the outer room. And if you like Jody's story, friends, why not come back next week? I'll have a man who almost sacrificed his own happiness to guard the secret of another. I like to call it Ramrod. So until next week, this is John Steele saying a life of adventure is yours for the asking, wherever you find it. Only, don't look for it. It may find you. Well, goodbye and good hunting. John Steele Adventurer is produced by Robert Monroe, written and directed by Elliot Drake. Jim Bowles was heard as Sam. Also in our cast were Ross Martin and Abby Lewis. John Steele was played by Don Douglas. Musical effects were created by Doc Whipple. Your announcer is Ted Melly. Remember, next week, Mutual presents Ramrod. Another story of suspense and action from the files of John Steele, adventurer. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.